It's wonderful to see the Lantern Project and the other stakeholders involved here all here today to launch this uh, boat, the Curra, um, called the Antonia, which is very, very particularly special to the family of Antonia who's here, who's left this legacy behind her and the tremendous work that she did throughout the years uh, in the Presentation Sisters and the tremendous work that she did throughout the community and bringing the community together in a very positive manner. And that's what Cork is all about, and that's what we love to promote in Cork. And it's only when we work with others that we really can make a difference. And I think this is a real testament to that. And all the people that are here today, you know, turning up, being present for a launch like this brings a huge amount of energy behind it. And we, we're so proud to be part of that. Seska, we are an alliance of 19 organizations, including the HSC, and we're there to act as a support to any community group that needs it. Well done to the dedicated participants who have given up their time and put blood, sweat and tears into this beautiful curve we see here before us today. Very well done to the participants. There's some beautiful work as you can see there. Um, she's a very fine boat, Antonia, and um, may she wear well. When this boat is launched, it goes to a very special uh, programme called Baudorokt, which is our youth rowing programme. So after the launch today, there'll be um, a lot of young people that wouldn't generally have had access to the water that will get a chance to go rowing and uh, learn some new skills. It's been a great experience, and um, thanks for allowing me the opportunity to be part of it. I'd like to say thank you to Paula, Mary Birmingham, Mary McCarthy, Pat, Jimmy, Lavender, and that's Dara and, uh, and Joan O'Keefe, and also there's also Stephen. Stephen. I asked myself the question, how do you build a boat? And I'm very lucky to say I was involved in that journey. From the moment I went into Metalmara, it's been a wonderful adventure on a weekly basis. What did I say about the two Seamuses, uh, our instructors and facilitators on the day? Your attention to detail, your patience, and your ability to empower people is phenomenal. I say that to you. To Joe, what will I say, who mothered us and took care of us below in the centre, thank you so much for the hard work and also for the refreshments on a, daily, on a weekly basis. They were much appreciated. Thank you to everyone who contributed and the teachers who helped like teach me a lot of stuff that I didn't know. At this point, I can stand and say I can make a boat. They gave me skills that I didn't know I had. I didn't even know I had potential like making boats and stuff, which they actually made me realize. And the environment that people who organize this give is actually good. They are welcoming. They actually make you feel at home. You feel part of the family. As the youngest, it was kind of difficult to adjust to being with people who are older than me. But they made me feel like age doesn't really matter. What matters is the effort that you're putting in and who you are. They actually gave me the freedom to be just me without fear of being judged. So I would actually encourage more people to join because this is a really great opportunity to get to know more people. So I'd like to say thank you to everyone. It's a joy. I think every one of us on the course itself enjoyed every minute of it and it's an experience that I will take away and treasure for a long time. I've been asked to read as well a passage from 
Uh, it's a section taken from, a, from an abstract poem where um, a former participant, it's called Building the Boat, and his name is Keith Payne. With a draw knife in your hand and the hazel firmly fixed, draw the beveled edge towards you from about a hand's width, and peeling the green bark, smooth with a horse rasp, while the shavings curl and gather on the floor. With a draw knife in your hand and the hazel firmly fixed, draw the beveled edge towards you from a bottom hand's width, and peeling the green bark, smooth with a horse rasp, while the shavings curl and gather on the floor. While across the yard we lay, the gunnels at our feet, but before you start, make the carpenter's mark, a chevron, a pig's tail, a ribbon in the wind, and hold to the light a faithful marking gauge, thumb it in and measure, then lightly draw it back towards you, watching you fall down. And that's why I've loved these Corrock over the years, it's called a Dunpanahee Corrock. It's from up the north, somewhere up in Shippyhaven, and um, it's one of these boats that you don't, you can build it on your own, but it's suited for the groups and for people to gather together, um, use their skills together, get to know each other together, and in the end become good friends. It was kind of emphasised me that the name was so important, that um, the nameplate Antonia had done long, months before the boat was even in existence, so it, um, it, the name has always been kind of strong in my mind as to the importance of it. The acknowledgement, when we work so hard, the two of us, sometimes it's, we forget what we do, and it actually really touched me, some of the things that were said here, so thank you very much. It's Laura and Lenore Domsev and Shawar and Ochoid, Untach Sha, Um On behalf of the Hillgrove Outreach Board, and it is a great privilege to be here speaking about Antonia and here with her family. Antonia dedicated her life to education. She worked tirelessly for people to give them a chance in education. If formal education hadn't worked for them the first time, she wanted it to work for them the next time. So it was really fitting to hear that that is where the boat will be with young people still in education. So we thank you, Antonia. Your work is continuing and this will be your legacy. We're delighted to be involved in this program, as we are with many programs in adult learning and development across the community. This is obviously um, what can be done with regards to funds and investment in people. And it's an inspiration being here today, looking at the work that you've done, because it's phenomenal. Sometimes when we fund education initiatives, we don't get to see the finished product. And to us today, we see a fantastic product in front of us. So congratulations, everyone, and uh, looking forward to seeing the boat take to the water. Yeah.